Okay, I want to do a separate video on the French horn, uh, specifically on how to play uh, exercise number five on the white belt pass off list. And that's asking us to go between two notes using a lip slur between the first space F and the third space C. Uh, now with the French horn, it's a little bit different than the other uh, brass instruments. Uh, the, this particular instrument and everyone in our band program has and starts on the double French horn. But the double French horn is basically two instruments in one. Uh, we have the outside tubing, which represents the F side of the instrument. Uh, but when we depress the trigger key here, we're actually switching over to what we call the B flat side of the instrument. And those are the tubings on the inside, as you see here. Now, depending on what pitch you're asked to play or you're reading in the music, uh, you're gonna use uh, a combination of both the B flat and the F side. And in particular, anything from a G sharp, second line G sharp and up, um, it's a little easier to play and better in tune if we're using the trigger key and then the other valves. Whereas below the G sharp from a G natural down to about a, a, a low G uh, below the staff, it's better to use um, just the F side of the instrument, no trigger key. Now, uh, what I'd like to do now is to just show you the different uh, partials that are sounded given which side of the instrument we play on. And I'm going to use open valve on both, except that the first of all, I'm going to play the F side of the instrument with no trigger. different pitches, uh, basic roughed in pitches that you can play completely open on that side of the instrument. Now when I play using the trigger key, I'm now playing on the B flat side of the instrument and the lowest note that you'll, you'll hear sounded using the B flat side of the instrument is the low F. good to practice lip slurs all throughout uh, the range on both sides of the instrument. Now getting back to our exercise um, on number five of the white belt is asking us asking us to go between a first space F and a third space C. Now um, in order to do a true lip slur between those two notes what we're going to need to do is to play using the trigger key. So we're gonna play these two notes on the B flat side of the instrument, even though when it usually we're asked to play a first space F, we only play on the F side of the instrument first valve. But in order to get a true lip slur, we're gonna play trigger key and go between the first space F and the third space C. And it should sound nice and smooth between those two notes. You want to use your ear and make sure that you're playing between these two pitches accurately. And I will demonstrate now. <laughs> Again, that's between number nine on page 5B and number one on page 4B. <laughs> between the pitches. You're only changing the airspeed so that you're able to, to change pitch between the F and the C on a lip slur. Once more, this is just thumb trigger. particular exercise, that's how you'll play those two notes, just with the trigger key between the, the first space F and the third space C. 
Now, remember when you're actually playing the music and you see a first space F, you wanna play the F first valve, okay? But in terms of playing the lip slur in a true lip slur, lip slur fashion, we're gonna use the trigger key on just the B flat side of the instrument.